we are here with the one and only Grampy back here on today's I'm used to saying tonight's <laughs> today's episode <laughs> of the Let's Chat podcast where I interview my friends on the internet so that you guys get to meet them. Grampy back, why don't you introduce yourself? Hey everybody, my name is Grampy back. As you can tell, it says Grampy back underscore underscore back because you people are typing Grampy back and they'll go to meet some dude who wears a wizard hat and he eats fried chicken on the screen. That's I think that's true, but uh. We're just a just a good old wholesome streamer that's trying to live the life in the grind like everyone else. And uh, thank you for coming in. Now, uh, so so, Grampy, how how long have you have you been streaming for? When was when was your first broadcast? Uh, my very first broadcast was in 2016, and it was like so nerve wracking that I said, I don't know if I can do this because I was sitting there. And you know how the old first streamer you look over you're looking at your numbers your eyes are getting bigger and no one's coming in i was playing league of legends at that time and then next thing you know oh my god this is so nerve-wracking who can do this for a living so i didn't stream after that until the next month where i got the guts and i came in and i did it and so it became once a month and it, i never really took those seriously as like a serious stream until February 1st of 2019, that's when I really started to put my foot in the mud and start dragging myself through the uh, through the pits of hell. All right, all right. Now, so, I mean, you, so one, once a month in streaming. So for you, was that just kind of like a, like a, hey, I'm gonna just kick it with the homies type thing, or I'm, you know, I'm gonna click the go live button, but I'm gonna do what I do. It, it, was, it was like, I remember I was like, all right, I actually, this is at this time, I actually had a pretty okay PC. And I was like, oh, I was like, you know what? Let me, let me see how this looks with, uh, let me see how this runs. I saw, I turned it on, I'll play a game. And I was like, all right, let me try it. Let me play Doom. And my friends were never there because I didn't want them to know that I was streaming. Because I had another friend that was streaming uh, when I was in the army, but he was super ragey. And I was like, and I didn't want, so everyone thought of streaming in our unit like that, like super rage people. And so I was like, oh, I don't want that. So I just kept it to myself and I just, I streamed like, it would even, it would be like two games of League of Legends and that was it. I'm just like, I don't even say anything. I was like me talking with the Logitech mic and you sound like, <laughs> like my original, like my original streams where I had the Logitech mic and I'm, and I'll go, I'm in turns into like popcorn and <laughs> <laughs> thanks Logitech. Yeah, I, i'm pretty sure exactly i'm pretty sure there'll be some people like god this dude's voice is annoying as fuck <laughs> so, officially just murdered any chances of him getting sponsored by Logitech. <laughs> not just kidding <laughs> <laughs> all right I, I, you're, bring back your mouse bring back your mouse they discontinue this mouse and so now i'm sad i'm not gonna spend 300 dollars for uh <laughs> for a pre-used mouse right <laughs> but it's their best mouse it's their best mouse that they made hands down everyone on the mouse uh, community goes one of their best mouse but then they're like oh it's too good just continue <laughs> <laughs> we we, do, we can't top this just take it down take it down make sure the exactly. next generation don't know about it <laughs> pretty much fucking you hitman style <laughs> <laughs> just, send them into the <laughs> Throw them into the prop, uh, throw, like put a uh, like a half a stick of dynamite in uh, in the toilet and <laughs> just blow it away. Uh, so you you mentioned briefly that um, that you're in the army. Are you still actively in service or? Uh no, I officially got out in 2018. 2018, I got out and I was like, what the hell am I gonna do? <laughs> I don't, I don't, I, I'm not famous enough to stream. I didn't know what the hell was going on. I was like. So how how long were you in the service for? I uh, went in at two thousand and two, two thousand two, from graduation all the way, from my high school graduation, and all the way up to two thousand. So I was like what, fourteen, fourteen years, something like that, if I remember correctly. Fourteen. I'm trying to Damn. do the math in my head. I'm... <laughs> that's a that's that's a that's a whew, that's a good chunk that's a good chunk of change in the army. Would you would oh, you yeah. say that? the army kind of influenced you more so as a person or would you say that as far as who you were going in is relatively who you would see as the same person coming out all right 
So that is a great question because I've always been this really weird guy. And no, no joke, there used to be, I used, I'll go into Xbox Live with my friends and we'll talk. And like everyone goes, this ain't Grampy. Because I didn't say a particular thing or say something offensive until I say something offensive. or they, Then they go, oh, Grampy's here. And then I joined the military. Next thing you know, it just, it just, it just bottle nosed it. It's like, yeah, it, it just, it's tough. It, it's like concentrated. It pulled out <laughs> all the fluff. It pulled out all the fluff and then just really jam packed all the, the, the qualities of Grampy back. And then, then you put some of the, the combat and the training and the yelling and the, all the mean jokes. It was just like, imagine the drill sergeant from Full Metal Jacket concentrated that <laughs> and then, they it. And then that, that's pretty much what happened but i try to keep it very humble and nice because you know family tends to tends to weaken you up a little bit but that's not make, not making you weak but you know it, 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 you it softens you up a little bit yeah makes you a little bit more exactly. uh, uh, approachable <laughs> Exactly. No now, reason for me to go over there. Has, has gaming been towards. always been a, a huge thing in your life, like through the ser like you know, high school into the service, and now? To be honest, hell yeah! I remember the uh, I remember when the Nintendo came out. Like we had the Atari Twenty Six Hundred, and I never really played it because my brother wouldn't let me play it because you know you, you know you suck. Don't touch it. And like I really wanted to play it, so I got to miss out on Pitfall and all that stuff. But when the Nintendo came out. And I looked at this Christmas box and it's sitting there. I'm like, huh. <laughs> <laughs> and then this, I got, so I, I, I take the end where the tape set and I lifted it up and I saw it was a Nintendo. And I was like, oh, oh, oh snaps. All right. We're about to get good at folding. <laughs> so, <laughs> we, fucking peeker. Yeah. Yeah. So my brother, thank goodness, he's a smart dude. He goes, turn on the stove and he boils some water and we just heated it up. And then the tape got loose. So we had to rip it. And we just, <laughs> We slid it out and we're like, oh my goodness, we tuck it out. We played the Nintendo Moms at work. We're like, oh my God, winter vacation is the greatest. And then next thing you know, but it got really awkward for Christmas because when uh, we <laughs> when we opened it up, we're like, oh yeah. <laughs> it's like, we, we've already got a week's worth of use out of it. Hell yeah, my mom and dad sitting over there with the camcorder, like, this seems like a lackluster uh, celebration. <laughs> so. Minus that, but yeah. Oh, like, dude, damn, I they want a football games. instead? Shit, did we fuck up? <laughs> it's like, you... That's that's another story. <laughs> so, <laughs> but Sega Genesis, Super Nintendo, like, my mom and dad did not even hesitate to get that for us. They were really great about it. Like, you know what? You guys did good. We cut the grass. We paint the fence. We shaved the dog because he had fleas because of another dog down the street. You know, we did everything that they wanted to do. We not without even without them even asking us. So they got us a Super Nintendo and the Sega Genesis, no problem. I was like, yes. But the PlayStation, that was getting that. I I don't know. It was like I had to like go out and murder all their rivals. You know, I had to do something grand, and there was nothing I can do to get it. So, go Granddad. Granddad comes hey. down from the. <laughs> granddad flies from arkansas and he's like yeah, yeah. that's how he laughs yeah, yeah. what do you want for your what do you want for your birthday i'm like a playstation that's the he goes all right let's go we go to electronic boutique before they call them ev games that turn into whatever it is now but electronic boutique he buys me the playstation oh, e e e e like, games is dead grampy oh oh yeah that's right it's dead. <laughs> yeah. like, you know what i haven't been to those places in a millennial <laughs> so i like, get the playstation i'm like my voice is I, that's how i could not scream loud enough and i plug it in and then the bearer of bad news rolls in my freaking mom boom what is that i'm like what the hell what is that take it back get him a bicycle i was like <laughs> no Rip. so we take it back and i gotta go, i gotta go get a bike and i was like damn i think mom and couldn't find out my mom had plans for me to get it for christmas so, so you went, so you went and got a PlayStation again on Christmas. <laughs> exactly. She just boy, wanted to steal the thunder, I think. Exactly. That's she didn't want not, no sharing, but video games has been something in my life for a long time. Gaming, I would say my style, my favorite style of gaming has changed over over time. Cause I used to be just hardcore into Japanese anime because I grew up with I'm good. <laughs> Sorry. Now you good. Oh, my wallet? 
Here you go, babe. Babe. Sorry. Now nah, you good. Fam family comes first, Grampy. <laughs> Yeah, they want my wallet. It's like the Jessens, Jeff, uh, what's the Jessens? She's like, give me your wallet. I'm like, okay. <laughs> I'm gonna go <laughs> wait for her to come back. But, uh, but, uh, yeah, it's like, I used to be heavy into Japanese RPGs because here she comes. Here you go, babe. You can just take the whole wallet. Thank you. <laughs> now I'm officially broke. All right. <laughs> I have a cup back. She, I was like, hey, babe, didn't I have like a hundred dollar bill in there? What? But you assume? Yeah, I, I spent all of it. <laughs> I mean, I like this funny. Sometimes didn't have I look at my bank account. <laughs> yeah, exactly. There's sometimes I look at my bank account. I'm like, all right. And we have, I have like 14 books getting bought on like uh, uh, book uh, Barnes and Nobles. I'm like, yep. <laughs> I was like, 14 books that I'm not going to read, but. Uh, but uh, I used to be heavy into Japanese RPGs because of uh, I, I wasn't I didn't learn how to read as a young man. Like you go to school and you know two busy parents, and I never really took reading seriously. And so I would start playing Japanese RPG, Final Fantasy three, uh, Mother uh, Mother two or Mother aka Earthbound. I would start playing those games heavily, and I sat down and started like I have to read this because nowadays you don't have to read anymore. You just voice actors and all that stuff. So. Without those games, without the Japanese RPGs, and I, that's why I take so much love for them, is because I had to read them. And I, like I didn't want, like they tell me to do something, and if I don't know how to read it, I'm like, what the hell do they want me to do? You know, so right, right. so so I take I I love those games, but then they started to fade away from me to more action and platforms, and then I started those were mostly because I liked to play them because they were just simple, get in the game and then tear through it, and then I got into fighting games. Like I always play fighting games because you play fighting games. <laughs> <laughs> I miss I miss the arcades. That's like that was the only reason why I play fighting games because arcade like you can go to arcade, slap a quarter in, and someone sees you, they're like, "Oh, you're playing Dog Stalkers, one of the best," and they're, <laughs> they're like, they'll come over there ready to fight you. You can sit there all day playing this dude over and over, and you just get a crap load of gameplay with one quarter if you're really good enough. And yeah, so our, arcade started, culture I... was was definitely. I mean, see, for for me in New Jersey, it was you had to go to the shore, which for where I'm at, it's like an hour drive. But that was that was like the thing, like summertime, spring, summertime. You roll roll down to the arcade. It was a you make a whole day out of it. Uh, I never I never forget when uh, when my folks said like, oh hey, you know your brother's girlfriend's got a beach house, and I was like, oh, I get to actually like, stay the whole weekend at the arcade. What? <laughs> <laughs> I love you, bro. I never loved you till this moment. <laughs> Don't you lose her. Don't you lose her. <laughs> yeah, the the yeah, day I, I broke up, I, it was one of those like, you're still going to play video games with me, right? It was more like, I can still sleep on your couch at the shore, right? <laughs> <laughs> I didn't do anything wrong to you. I loved you. I love your beach house. <laughs> Hell yeah, but... uh. And then I got really into first-person shooters and fighting games at the same time. Unreal Tournament. Oh, God, that game. The first Unreal Tournament was so beautiful. Then they did Unreal Tournament 2000. Then they recoined it as 2003. Yep. But I, I love Unreal Tournament, and I love that. And then I love the uh, Medal of Honor for the PlayStation. But it never took away from the fighting games for me. Um so what kind of but what I kind of my... games do we uh, do we typically see you playing on stream now, Grampy? Uh, right now, uh, it is Tekken here and there. Right now, I'm in the dra I'm in some Dragon Ball Z fan, uh, being all you know lovey dovey with it. I don't know why. It's just because of Majin Buu or something. He's got, <laughs> he looks like the Kool Aid. I have him in all red, so he's like this big ass Kool Aid man. He's like, oh yeah, I mean, just kicking people around. I mean, I I love the combo system. I hate the auto combo, but I do like the combo system. And I hate that if you don't know what you're doing or someone's, it, you can tell the difference of levels. And that sucks because it really makes you feel bad where you're like, all right, I'm doing pretty good. And then you see a guy who's like, you're over here, demon rank. And he's like Super Saiyan 3 rank. And he just just walks right through you. <laughs> you're like, well, I suck. And um, right now I've been playing a lot of uh, roguelike games um, and I'm, Playing some games offline because I have a really cool, savagely great idea, which I've been already been spouting all over uh, on my page. Yep, but I love it, and it gives me some time to work on it. 
and uh, set it up. But uh, I've really been, I've been on a hunt for a new game. I used to play Monster Hunter until I lost all my data. And then, you know how it is, starting from zero is... I told, I told you to back your shit up, Grampy. For those of you, know, for those of you that think that I'm just like paranoid, back your shit up. I have a YouTube tutorial on how to do it if you really don't know. <laughs> that's true. Uh, it, that's true. So I tried to turn it on recently and I was like, oh, here we go. Here we go. In that first Zoro Magnos fight, I'm like, let's just sit here and do nothing. And I, at the, it just is so grindy because I already put so much work into it. I was like, I was proud. I'm like, yeah. I remember everybody on my, everybody I was playing with was trying to get the freaking power stones so they could get a little bit more damage. And I'm over here with like three of them. I'm like, oh yeah, I'm a hammer man. You know, I'm like it's hammer time, baby. I love busting up things with hammer. Everybody got this shield. What's the, uh, I forgot the name. It, you got people with the inkset glaze flying are all over the place. Then you got the people with the great sword, which I got really into the great sword. I don't that yeah, great boy. great sword's a lot of fun, but um, oh man, that's that. But there's I mean, a if you want if one. you want a hard carry back through the campaign, you know, <laughs> I know, you know about when it. to find us. I know I, I sit there and watch you play. We've dragged so, so oh many God. people through the story. Like if you've been watching, you already know we've literally just been catching people up that haven't played in like a year. That, yeah, because I'm sitting here, I'm like, man, I did, like, before all Iceborne, I'm like, I did it all. I'm the man. Do it and again. And I woke up. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Start for, start for the beginning. No, 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 I think, no. I, I like, think your game was just telling you that you need to not play Hammer. I think that's the thing that might have, and I'm not even hating <laughs> on Hammer. You guys know I love Hammer. Uh, in the, in the, I, those I'll, of you that are watching in chat, you guys know I love Hammer, but I'm definitely a hunting I, main. Maybe. Just yeah. maybe the game was telling you, look, you need to experience another weapon. Yeah, I will, cause that's my games. That's something how, how if you ever watch. Or maybe play, you just need a new hard drive. I games. don't know. <laughs> yeah, that's true. I do have a SS. I have a solid state drive now. Uh, so, uh, but like, if you watch me play any game, when I find something I like, I'm not leaving it. I'm I'm holding on to it with death grips. Bears, death grips. Street Fighter, Colleen. All I play is Colleen. And on Dragon Ball Z Fighters, I need to have this. Any game that I find a meta that I like, I call it my meta. Screw the main meta. I'm going to rock it. Because when I was finding that horn, I was kept staggering people over and over. And the team's like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, everybody, you know I mean? it's it's weird. Because like people think, I mean, there's, of course, meta chasers in any video game. In League and in, in Tekken, you know, across the board. But um, I, there's you always have people, especially in fighting games, that um, I mean you can attest to this yourself. Especially in fighting games, you have those people that they like that that type of character, and they will play it no matter how good or bad it is. I mean you can like DJ always made fun of us. For those of you that don't know, I met this gentleman, and we started playing Tekken together. He beat my ass with Bear six ways from Sunday, and I'm sitting here with Yoshimitsu like. Bro, my combos do like 35 damage. What the fuck is that? <laughs> I'm like, that's true. Like, I'm sitting here, I'm like, yes, good bears, good. <laughs> Go bears. We got DJ playing bear, and I, I, I will never forgive you for that. I will never forgive you <laughs> for getting DJ on bears. Ever. I got a lot of people. I got a lot of people playing bears. That's the funny thing about it. I had like. I'm just glad all moments. of you stopped playing Marduk. All of you. <laughs> oh, yeah. I still, I, I still play Bardock. I still play Bardock. Hey, I've been actually thinking about getting back into Lavi Bardock, and yeah, I've been on a win streak with him, and I've been. It's like my combos are not there, and my my fundamentals with them are not there like they used to be ish. But now I'm like, yeah, watch out, guys! Grampy sure. Back's gonna make a triumphant comeback to Tekken Tuesday. We ain't ever gonna they win are. tournaments again. <laughs> <laughs> I know I've been I've been I've been so sad that I've been missing. Like you like like the last one I was streaming, I looked over, I saw a message like, oh sweet, I clicked on it, and I was like, let me go to a stream. I go to your stream, and the next you know everyone's already in game. I'm like, damn it. <laughs> so, <laughs> we, we, wait, I mean, we waited. <laughs> I know. I was like, I was still in the game. I'm like, I'll uh, rip. Yeah, I looked over, I was like, oh shit. I was like, okay, so yeah, I'm thinking about uh, moving my uh, the Tuesday stream over. To Wednesday, so that I can't participate in Tekken Tuesday. We were talking about that with the uh, with a couple of my friends. Like they're like, so yeah, you stop coming to Tuesday. You think you're too good for us? I'm like, no, I stream on Tuesday, 
It's, I'm not playing Tekken at that time. I'm like, yeah, on I mean, Tuesday, I'm streamers playing... are allowed to take breaks from games. I mean, otherwise we otherwise we get burnt out. Like, yeah, exactly. Because Tuesday, I'm trying to play something completely new. Try out. Well, first, it's more of a tryout, and if it works and it, I like it, then I'll, I'll play it every Tuesday until we complete it. So, like, we did the last Tuesday. We we're playing uh, the what was it called? The uh, the Beast Inside. Uh, I never usually play horror games on stream. And like I said, since my computer's not some the, one of those titans of the terror out there and, you know, flying the skies. Um, and so I figured out a way to make it work uh, on OBS Studios, which was pretty genius on my behalf. <laughs> so um, make sure that everyone can still watch the game. Uh, so I just put it in window mode, uh, dropped the resolution for it pretty not to where I can see the game and know what I'm doing. And then I made sure it was full screen for the uh, seven. It was set to 120. Uh, 1280 to 720 and then i uh, full screened it on this stream so that i'm looking at a small box but everybody gets the full quality box and the game didn't have to render so much yeah and so i was like yes because the whole forest was active so you're in the house the forest is still active and guess yeah. what happens your game is like i still have to render this stuff even though you can't see it yeah, that is one so, of those. That is one of those games too that like I will never play it myself, but I will always watch somebody play it. That is a phenomenal game. It's just it's not my. Yeah. It's not quite like the experience that like if I'm sitting down like I want to play a game, I'm not entirely jived by it. But watching somebody else go through it, I'm like, oh, oh yeah, wait. dude. I want to tell I've you to do that one, but I don't want to spoil it. So you, I'm gonna just see what you do. <laughs> <laughs> I've I have I have never felt so ba- I never felt so embarrassed until that game. I was playing that bad boy and like people are coming up and here they're like the beast inside, huh? You you do you normally play scary games? Like I'm not I'm not I watch horror movies all the time and I love scary stuff, but please, I don't know anything about this game. This game I feel like some games now they just get cheap. Like, you know, back in the day, you know, you have like the monster will creep around the corner and then it'll jump at you. Now they just open up a closet and just have animation flying at your ass. Like, oh, sh- All the jump yeah, scares. <laughs> All just jump scares galore. I was like, damn, y'all some buttholes. So, so now, would you yeah, would so, you consider yourself a, a bit more of a of a variety streamer at this point then? or? Yeah, I have I have my games that, you know, I have my go-to, like Friday's my, usually my long stream. I try to keep it as like, you know, I try to put a fighting game in. Um, I, you know, put something new in there. I do my League of Legends matches. And then at the end, if I if I'm not too tired, because if anyone was watching me yesterday, I was super gassed out near the end of my stream. I was like, do I wasn't falling asleep or head nodding. I just close my eyes. And I wake up and I'm like, oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> like, my, I'm pretty sure my character was just standing there like I was playing uh, Neon Abyss, which is yeah. a game I've been loving lately. It's like yeah, you you've I'm, you've loved the roguelikes lately. Yeah, I don't know, man. It's just have you have you tried like, Void Bastards? Uh, not yet. I would not I would yet. look into Void Bastards. I think you I think you would actually really really like that. We we played it on stream. Oh god, this was like a year ago now, but um, we we played it on stream and it was it was it was solid. It was a solid roguelike. It's not quite like the the bullet hell that um, that Neon Abyss is, but uh, in a, in a mm-hmm. good way. Yeah, and since like you're since manageable. you like you love your retro games to all hell, oh, yeah. it's got a, it's cell shaded, but it's got a lot of that like retro first person vibes that I think you nice. would just absolutely latch on to. And if you get addicted oh, to yeah. it, I'm not sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I wouldn't be sorry though. I I had to send like flowers or something. Like yes, thank you, my friend. But no, I, I really do. I really do like roguelikes. I I don't know. It's just something about I guess just the. Uh, I still have, it's, it's, 2020 to me is like for video games they've been they're 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 they're, they're good games it, but a lot of them are not good no, games nothing really it's blowing like, the pants off you exactly really it's like i i can see myself going banana ape shit for when cyber uh cyberpunk 2077 come out oh I'm, yeah did you pre-order favorite, it one of my yeah 100 percent. so i i'm a big fan of cyberpunk you know, I, I used to go around calling myself a techno macer, and people looking at me like, "What the hell's techno macer?" Gra- Grampy's to gonna love... have like an out first hour of the stream when the game drops. He's just gonna be customizing his genitals. Everybody, everybody knows it's like, gonna happen. Yes. <laughs> get, my, get it, get it. It's like, 
silver paint and like like yes yeah, good he's like, like some racing stripes or hot racing rod stripes. <laughs> i'm going i'm breaking uh old uh breaking like old equipment that i have so i can like tape freaking uh computer <laughs> chips in my chest and shit i'm telling you it's like yes yeah, good beep, boop, beep, beep, boop. They're, they're sitting in the streams on i thought i thought i was in the uh starting up stream and it's just in my face there just touching my nips and uh now, but, speaking, uh, really, speaking of uh, retro games, one of the one of the things I did kind of want to touch on a bit, um, you haven't really done it in a while, but one of the things that you yeah. were definitely kind of known for that we kind of both got along great with was speedrunning. Yes, indeed. So why don't you tell us I, a little bit about your history of speedrunning and some of the games you've ran? Oh, man. So I still have some world records. So I, I'm a big... I have a I have a particular idea when it comes to speedrunning. Sometimes I have nothing wrong with the crazy glitches and stuff. That's totally fine by me but sometimes I'll, I, I kind of like have this purist thing about it like i want to get turn the game on and see how fix fine-tune my technique and get through the game as fast as possible some games are just too long to do it like that so yeah glitching to me would be like do it because if i'm playing final fantasy tactics i want <laughs> i need all the glitches i need to get through that epic story but uh, I, I started off with i started off um, speed running Mario, but then none of the records matter if you don't have a Nintendo. You have to use the actual Nintendo. So I kind of phased that out. And all the games I wanted to speed run, you actually had to have the real equipment for it. So I was like, damn, I don't have the time to go buy one. AJ Gaming's that's my favorite uh, retro gaming store. And um, but that's like downtown Seattle, and I live in the mountains. So for me, that is like a three hour drive. And I was like, you know what? Let me look at some things. So come to find out, you know, they've been revamping retro games for the Neo Geo. So I was like, you know what? I remember uh, Shock Troopers. This is the first one I really took seriously. So I played Shock Troopers, and I did pretty good. I played third. I was like, on oh, my first round, I was like, hell yeah. That, that's pretty good. I think everyone who was running didn't care. And then I really started to focus, and then I, I got the world record. And then everyone saw my tactic that I did, and then everybody did it. And I, now I'm second place. And uh, I started to speed run uh, Spin Masters. Now, I love Spin Masters because when I was a kid, that's all I played at the arcade that wasn't Mortal Kombat. Like, after I played Mortal Kombat and Street Fighter and Tekken 3, I had like one quarter left, and those games were 50 cents each. I'll look at the Neo Geo machine. It's like it's sitting in the background going, please play us. <laughs> like, all right, and I play Spin, I play spin Masters. They're like, Spin and I love that shit. It's a bunch of dudes throwing yo-yos. I was like, hell yeah, this is fun. I've never even heard of this game. I'm definitely going to have to look this up after yeah. the podcast. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so I uh, that's I saw it on the Xbox gaming store. And I was like, sweet. I'm going to speed run it. Speed run it. And then the category got a little bit more flush because uh, I started to take over the records. And this dude's like, oh, hell no. <laughs> so he started to fix up the categories and everything. Then I got really into... Uh, Streets of Rage, and then I got back into my all-time favorite Contra game, Parkorps, and then um, so I think the whole and I, I did Shock Troopers two, worst speed run ever, but I hold the world record because uh, <laughs> that game is it had they did not fix that game is horrible. Like, is All right, like, this game is terrible, but I'm gonna be the best person at this terrible game. <laughs> yeah, yeah, the, the best one. That game I'm talking about you if you shoot. The game frames will go from 30 10 every time. So shooting is not an option unless you need to shoot. Like, okay, boss fight. Do, 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 do. And then the, um, and the last boss is like everything's a bullet sponge. And you in the boss, you got to hit him in the face. Every shot has to hit him in the face. So when he pops out, you hit him, and then he goes behind this big-ass wall that protects him. So it goes from a... An easy fight, it goes from this, uh, okay, shoot him in the face to this long epic fight because then he brings out bullet sponge robots and they fly around and they don't miss. And you're like, I hate this <laughs> game, I hate this game. And I'm like, no one's gonna touch this record. And no one, everyone looks at this game, they probably start playing it. They're like, nope, I'm good, right? <laughs> like, I'm good. So, I'm do like, you have any more down. modern titles, um, you know, with your sight set on it? Or? Um, yeah, I actually, I got well, I had my eyes set on the new Streets of Rage. But then I actually watched a couple runs. And I'm like, oh, that it, boy, it is a lot of freaking knowing how to chain your combo. So like, I watched this guy. He chained the whole stage combo and everything. I was like, damn, that's gonna take a lot of practice. You can hear you can hear the dude 
Like he's like, this is all practice guys. I've been playing this game 24 hours since it came out. I'm like, damn. And there's no one else doing what he's doing right now. How, how well he's chaining them up and keeping, he knows where everything's at, which is the right thing to do. And then I was also looking at a, another game and pull up my up desktop. It was, um, Oh, uh, oh that's what I was going to do. I, was, I wanted to speed run a bunch of fighting games. Cause there are speed runs pretty much for every game. And, um, I wanted to do like starting from street fighter two, going all the way up to Tekken seven. And then, um, but another one would be, what game was it? It's a, uh, it's like it's like Dark Souls, but I think it's called Hellpoint. Yeah, but yeah. I uh, actually... Br- Brittany and I were were playing Hellpoint for a little bit. It's 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 a solid game. Yeah, and so I wanted to sit down and actually learn the mechanics of it, and then see what I could do with that. And then there was another one called Skybot Zach. That game will blow your hand off. Oh my goodness, dude! I don't know how people speed run that game. I played that game for like five stages and my hand was about to melt. You just got to sit there it and is, mash the whole time? It, it's mashing to the maximum. So you get three buttons. You got red, blue, and yellow, right? But you you had to move forward fast. You must press those color combinations to kill the monsters off. And so you're like, red, 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 boo, 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 to get through wall stuff. It is a freaking hand killer. But it sounds to me like you need to bust out the arcade rough. stick. That's what I was about to do, actually, for that one. It's right here. I was like, you know that, what? I'm that's gonna... definitely because not it... something I'd play on pad. Oh, dude, it was killing me. I was like, oh. I, I already had to buy a new a new Dual Shock this past year because of Tekken. So, <laughs> oh yeah, I do. It's hard. like my Dual Shock. Like it, it's pissed me off a couple of times now. So <laughs> I wanted to, I wanted to fling that thing across the wall. I want to get the Nerf cushion for it. So when I throw it, it hits the wall. <laughs> it's so it bounces back, nothing. hits you in the face. <laughs> exactly. What happened to your teeth? Well, the old Nerf, the Nerf controller. Now, so as as far as I mean, to tackle the next question we have here, then, um, as as far as streaming is concerned, what are what are some of your gripes or pet peeves while while you're streaming? What are some of the things that you don't like about streaming on Twitch? Um. Having, I think, well, it's still going to come down to uh, Twitch being a little bit more understanding that not everyone's going to be pulling up big numbers. So I would love to cater more to my, um, to lurkers, to frequent viewers, uh, for followers that don't necessarily subscribe, but subscribe, but they're always there. Um, I had great ideas and I, I, I just, I've been trying to figure out a way to like present it to them. Cause I said, I, I was like, you know, it'd be a really cool idea um, for people that like, let's say that they've been in your stream since day one, but they never subscribe, but they've been there and they support you with viewership and they talk, they at least they chat. I would love to have like a little airplane instead of a, a set of a diamond for VIP, like frequent flyer. This guy, is, he's been here. He's watching. Give him a little bit of, give him that nice customizmo or let us give, a, let, let us make some, fu- uh, some fun little, um, some fun little things for our viewers to make them feel more welcome. Like for the people who, you know, they've been there and they come back or let us do custom names for people. So we, you know, everybody, you give some streamers, people that some followers that come in, you got custom, you got, you got nicknames for them. We have a friend called, we call UTC, uh, ugly, tiny child, but we call him Oliver. And that'd be nice when he comes into our stream, he'll say Oliver. And uh, when he leaves, he's back to whatever other channel he goes to. He could be whatever he wants or they'll keep his default name. I mean, they're, they're kind of like really how fun. they do it in Discord, how you can nickname somebody exactly. in Discord. That'd be that'd be really good for like, uh, especially people that have to like uh, either the, like they have to change their Twitch name or they decide to you know rebrand their channel. And then they come over to you like, who the fuck is this guy? <laughs> exactly. So you always know who it is. And they also the fact that you that he's been there long enough that you actually have a nickname for him. It makes people feel like, damn, I'm, I'm a, he it makes like he gave me a, a nickname. That's really awesome. You know, obviously having followed the terms of service and all that good stuff, but that'll be really of cool. Course, yeah. It's not necessarily, it's not stomping on anyone's toes or anyone's Twitch name because it's only in your channel. But another thing I have a really gripe on is just like, I, <laughs> we were talking about this, me and the wife. She goes, what do you think about Twitch as a whole? I'm like, uh, I think they can do more uh for all all types of streamer i'm not i don't expect them to you know carry me all the way up to the top but if if people tell you like oh if 
it's easier to promote yourself on YouTube because it got better algorithm going, well, Amazon, what are you guys doing? You guys got the money. How about you guys fix your algorithm and make it work to where everybody can, you know, get some promotions and actually help people out. Um, Cause I was sitting here thinking about, I was like, you know, what would be nice is kind of like allowing people to taking games, right? So let's say fighting games. Let's say you're playing a really old school fighting game and I don't want to be in retro, but I want to be in the fighting game section. You know, they should have the categories too for every B runners. They should have a category for the fighters. The actual like plat like you know, actually yeah. your platform. Like when you when you go to Humble Bundle to buy a game, you can click on like I want a platformer. Click and here's all the games that are classified platforms. And you, people go, Oh, sweet. And then they can go down and look through those a lot easier. Cause like when I play retro games, if I type in retro. I have a higher chance of being seen than me just taking a retro game and like, all right, here we go, Soccer Frontier, and somebody's going, I'm at the bottom because no one's watching Soccer Frontier. They're watching Soccer Frontier in retro. And so I think that they, there's a lot of things that they can do, and I, this is me being all, but at the end of the day, Twitch is a business, and they like small streamers, or my, like my friend said, don't call yourself small streamers, you're a streamer. Uh, he likes the people with lower view count because at the end of the day, they're still getting ad revenue, and it feels like they're not gonna let, they're not gonna push you or try to help you push or try to get you out there. Like you know what, let's cycle through and get them on the front page once in a while, you know, um, because they know that you're still gonna be streaming, they're still gonna collect money, and they're still gonna get that those ads out there. That's why they put that mid midstream ad thing out there now. So you're like, oh well, yeah. So they know that. A lot of a lot of people are are a little miffed about that. I mean, I I went to I went to read read you the other night, and fucking Twitch didn't re re up my sub, and literally in the middle of me raiding you, I got an ad, and I was like, fuck you, dude. <laughs> it's, <laughs> like, it's, it's stupid. It, it's it, I hate that. And then I did, oh, this is one thing that kind of drives me crazy because um I do have some people who watch my vods. I actually like that's like they don't they can't watch the live stream, so they watch the vods. And so, like, I, I always want and like, and it's not just one, two person. I, like, I go check my VODs, and now it's like, well, we added your views from the stream to this. I'm like, because one day I came home, I was like, oh, what? I was so pumped. I had, like, 253 views. I was like, what the hell just happened? I was so pumped. And then I go on Twitch. I'm like, no, no, something. Nah, nah, nah. This is Twitch. This is Twitch. They're scandalous skeezers sometimes. So next thing you know, I go on Twitch, and I see it right there. Boom. We're adding the view count to the uh, to your VOD. I'm like, oh, come on, come on. And but I also thought about this something that they don't have on their uh, mainstream. It is VOD. Like you got following, got browser, esport, music. Why not VODs? Just a, a plethora of VODs. People who you know a way for you to discover someone's channel. You know, you can filter through it via through views. How many someone? How many times has VOD's been watched? Uh, and so on and so forth. And you can have it set for a, a a daily base. So if you streamed at from midnight, uh, from twelve to twelve, you mean kind of kind of almost like a like a almost like a YouTube, but it's just like, hey, to, here's the yeah. stream, here's the streams that you didn't catch because you were doing something else, kind of thing. Exactly. Because sometimes this is the thing about with VODs that people like. Sometimes the person will get on and go, okay, I'm planning on watching Pip Darty's VOD. But then, like, it's it's a subliminal thing. If you don't see it on the on the following channel, like, I don't go out clicking on Pip Darty's channel until I see his, uh, his name up. If I see your name up, then I'll click on it, watch your stream. If you get off, then I'm like, all right, I'm going to watch his VOD because I missed half of the stream, right? So it's one of those things, like, some people, they'll get on, they'll see, um, they'll see freaking Games Done Quick, and they're gonna click on games done quick, and they're gonna watch games done quick, uh, click, uh, quick. But if you have like you know that there's vods, you can go straight to the vod section, and you got all your followers, vods, everyone that you follow, and then you can filter through followers, or if you, and they'll have everybody in there. So like, See, why YouTube isn't this page. man fucking? Why why isn't this man email on Twitch? Why why is? I know because the bank, there's bank something I like... information right here. <laughs> Yeah, because there's this thing I, I thought about, and I was really thinking about this, and this this is my idea, and, I, and I, I'm totally welcome for anybody to do this. 
So I've been waking up at four o'clock every morning and I do one hour of recording of just offline gameplay. And two, it always helps me work on my commentary and things like that. So it's a game that I normally would never play on stream, you know, and I take different gameplays and I'll try to have about four hours of gameplay. This is this is going to I'm going to try to get out next week and I'm going to make it my way. And this is you can upload it to your uh, to your uh, library of, of videos. Yeah. And then you can add it to your re- rerun queue. And as long as you let everybody know what when you see me rerunning, this is new content. And so when people are going to see it's sometimes they're going to see the rerun thing and go, oh, but they know that it's new content. They're going to click on it. Yeah. It's a chance for them to watch, watch you in a different light. And then you can put it on YouTube. But sometimes what people are going to see is, and I have been victim of this. I have, I had one of my friends hit a, re, he had a, he hit rerun. I saw his name and I clicked on it. And I'm like, oh, this is yesterday's stream. But this won't be yesterday's stream. This will be a new stream. This will be a new video. You may not be there, but you do it once a day. So like for me, I'm do, I'm planning on doing it on Thursday before my Friday stream. So every Thursday will be rerun day of, of full long content. Yeah, so you still have content on the same platform. So it's not like somebody's on. going to your YouTube channel. That's that's actually an interesting idea. I never even really thought about, yeah. about that. My friend, my, my I told, told you about my friend who's doing editing uh, down in uh, California of the the porno movies. Um, he he was talking to me about deconstructionism. It's a editing thing that they do. Like they'll take a scene and they break down the whole scene, and they and so when they're editing, they're thinking about every single thing in the scene and how it plays out, where to zoom from, what's over here, what's over there, what needs to be out, what they need to take out, what they're gonna uh, after effect. But to, to get to that point, they got to break down everything. Yeah. So he goes, think about, so that's, I was thinking about Twitch as a whole. And I was like, you know what? I, I need to break it down. What's everything that's on here, except for just live? I can t- go live and do that. How about I do this and do some editing and clean it up and make it look nice and make it fun? Cut out the dead and air no and shit like to- that. Exactly. So if no one wants to watch it, that's fine, but it's still there. So for the people who do watch your VODs, guess what's going to be there? Right there. And it's like I told people too um, recently. Um, put you can put thumbnails on your previous streams, which I've been I doing. I did lately. not even know that shit. There's so, there's yeah, a lot go- that see. There's a lot of things on this platform that that like genuinely people that consider themselves small or baby streamers don't even really know. Exactly. That, like they it's, have it's- access to. Like even if you don't like me, I fucking hate editing for YouTube. Period absolutely hate exactly. it exactly like i told you <laughs> when we film this podcast it's from the moment i click record to the moment i click stop recording that render goes up on youtube that's that's what you guys see <laughs> but um, exactly yeah i the fact that you can do i'm gonna have to look into that you're gonna have to you're gonna yeah. have to show me a couple things here yeah so like once you're done once you're done streaming you can um make a jpeg based off these sizes i think it's like seven uh 1280 to 720 that's the size you can use and what i do is i have my face well not not my my icon and it says grampy back and i have the three main games i play if i play three games and i have it nice and clean i can put a description in there i can change the episode the, the name of it so like grampy back day four you know the the winds of hell i can name it that episode and i can put a descriptor like we play today da, 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 at these times um and save and boom. So if someone did come to your VOD, they'll if they did come to your stream, this here's this nice clean uh thumbnail and your title's fixed up, you know, and you're good to so go. The, so the thumbnails so, aren't even just like like how Twitch does it now, where it's just like a still of that stream. You can actually upload a yeah, custom image. Okay. You can yep, you can upload a custom image and make it look nice and clean. Grab me back up that secret sauce over here, guys. <laughs> yeah, I was like, if, if I'm not gonna blow up, I might as well take pride in what I do. See, and that's so that's one there. of the that's one of the things that genuinely I feel like even big streamers, like not not every big streamer, mind you, but like a lot of big a lot of streamers, period. They just they just do it. They mm-hmm. don't have that sense of 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 like you said, a sense of pride in their content. They're just like, yeah, yeah. I do this. People like it no own that like and that's that's one of the reasons why i kind of like really latched onto your particular content in general is because like i'm like dude this guy is just fucking wild and all over the place and like 
Like, how is he not? How is he not banned? How is he not? How is this guy not banned? Hello? Uh, Twitch, if you're watching this, Grabby Back doesn't actually deserve deserve a ban. He's just really degenerate and all over the place. And it seems like this guy just never has a plan. But that's the point. That is his plan. <laughs> I throw, throw the grenade in there and like pray to God. Grabby Back just like, on it. I got two grenades. I'm gonna let go of the spoons and I'm gonna just run. <laughs> <laughs> Goodbye, world. <laughs> just go for it. Now, this, I mean, like this moment, so I try to clean it up. You know, try to try to clean it up. Be a good guy. <laughs> yeah, try to clean it up. Try to be a little bit more organized. But um, to get to some of the questions that um, now, these are in no particular order. These aren't necessarily from my chat, your chat. These are just a list of some of the questions that people wanted to know about you, Grampy. Oh, shit. <laughs> so, yes. as, as, so obviously, my question earlier about your military life impacting you. Mm -hmm. Obviously, the military affects everybody. You see some shit, you go through some shit. We don't need to get into that. By the way, Grampy, mm -hmm. every single person, uh, that has been informed of this stream every person i've talked to to get questions from wanted me to thank you personally for your service that is a very long time to be in the military and even if you didn't see fucked up active combat which i'm sure you did thank you indeed no problem and like i tell people i i love doing it and i wouldn't change it for the world but that question was more so as a segue to a question that somebody had had presented to me to give to you and it was a kind of a question that i that i i ask a lot of a lot of streamers because genuinely i'm always curious about it the, the military had a massive impact on you as a person in general how has streaming impacted you both as a father and as an individual oh restlessness um i i feel restless because i i, I my brain and you can probably contest this my brain is like like you know, I'm, co I'm connected to a mainframe, and ideas just keep firing in. I'm like, and I want to do it all, and I feel really drained a lot of times because you know I go to work at the hospital, I come home, the kids are running around, and I'm like, I look at there's moments I look at my stream, I'm like, I hate you, I hate <laughs> you so much. Like there's moments where I'm like, I remember I did like was about to quit and it, i was not gonna quit because it was stressful it was quit because i felt like i wasn't making people laugh and making people happy and making people smile which you felt was like you truth. weren't you weren't putting your all into and you did you did even take exactly. a, take a break i mean guys yeah I, i'm gonna throw this out there because i know grandpa's about to say it anyways it is okay to take mm -hmm. a streamer break fuck twitter fuck instagram fuck all of those hemispheres yeah. that say like oh you're just asking for attention Fuck them. If somebody has a problem with something that you're doing for your well-being, they can fuck off. And you can block them. That's you can true. mute them. This is the internet. If you, if somebody doesn't like you and they make it a point to present that to you, to piss you off and tell you you're wrong, honestly, yeah. throw them out the fucking window. Because they're trying to do the same That's thing true. to you anyways. That's true. Yeah, so it impacted me in a lot of ways. Like, there's moments where I just I don't get enough rest. So I start, me and the wife, we're just sitting here, we're like, we need a new game plan. Like, what we're doing now is not working. You're drained, you're getting, you're getting, you're short-tempered. Because this is one thing I always tell people, if you got an idea, see it through. Don't put another idea on it, or another idea on it, because then you feel kind of worthless because you never finished the first idea. And so- I'm definitely somebody with I, a never-ending to-do list. Exactly, so now I'm sitting over here like, crap i got all this stuff to do and i haven't even completed the first idea i'm like, so it really drained a lot of energy out of me so right now we i used to stream every day and i'm like we're cutting that out i used to start streaming at eight o'clock but they never gave me enough time to you know play with the kids and you know feed them and get them to go to bed you know so i pushed my stream out to nine o'clock um it taught me more what also how it impacted me is teaching me more responsibility because it's not just it's not that important to where I want to, I'm going to do it, but I got to make sure I take care of my responsibilities first. That's what it really taught me. Take care of my responsibility before I have fun, you know. So uh, and, and and like you like the, you mentioned earlier, you you actually like you still actively hold a job outside of the military. You work at a hospital, correct? Exactly. Yes, yeah, Grandy Gra 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 Back just trying to help everybody. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> but for the most part, I try to help everybody. I mean, I love the people at my job. There's you love the the old cantankerous old people and the the super young people who think they are invincible, but then they come to find out they were riding a horse and they rode backwards and they got stomped on. That, that yeah, really and happened. I and I think I think the really important <laughs> takeaway from that, Grampy, is that as as much as we sit here and say like we're here for our communities we're here for our viewers we're here for you know to to enjoy this because i mean ultimately speaking what you and i are doing now what you do on a several several nights a week basis this is a hobby like this is this is this isn't putting i mean it can it can certainly help feed your family it certainly can help put food on my plate pay the bills keep the lights on around here all fucking thirty five thousand of them behind me but um chicken yeah (laughs) but the important thing is you have to take care of yourself first and yes you you so i i think what you what um you know what you're saying here is is definitely something that a lot of streamers forget is that if you're not like in the zone you're not gonna produce the content you're happy with and you're just gonna continually drag yourself down yeah and I, I have tons of friends. I see, um, I see, I have tons of friends that feel that way. And I've watched them go from the pinnacle, the pinnacle. I'm talking about they, they got rated. And I, like, and this, if he's in here, this is nothing ill towards you at all. But I've had friends that got rated by Night Blue himself, and viewership in the forty thousands. And you know how that makes you feel, you know you. This is that moment that yeah. so many people wait for. But for me, I'm like, I don't, to me, it's like this, it, until this is, I'm getting paid, <laughs> it doesn't matter. Until, until that moment where people go, I'm, people are hunting for me, it doesn't matter. I still got responsibilities at the end of the day. Notre Dame caught fire, still got to go to work. You know, still got to do my stream, still got to take care of my resp- personal responsibility. And until streaming, like I was just playing video games, and when I started streaming a lot more, it kind of made me go, if I'm going to stream this long amount of hours, I need to have my ducks in a row yeah. before I get there. So so would you say that after, before that, streaming, uh, before you like really started taking streaming seriously, like even, even in your day-to-day life, would you say that you were very mm-hmm. unorganized, didn't really take time for yourself, and had poor time yeah. management, would you say? Yeah, most definitely, because like the game, the game plan was like, all right, go to work, come home, play with the kids, and then I'll end up playing video games on the sofa or on the computer until God knows when. You know, next thing you know, I wake up half zombie. You know, my my legs are working, but the upper half is totally zombified, and um, and then next you know, I'm running late for work, and so on and so forth. It was just like I missed lunch because just it's, you know, it's, it's a downhill thing, you know. When one thing doesn't go to plan, everything else just kind of yeah. you know, shit rolls downhill. And so that's what kind of just kept happening over and over and over. And uh, and it got to the point where, like, I had my daughters and I was like, dad will come home. And I'm like, give daddy a hug. And I fall over on top of them and just fall asleep. And they're like, free us, daddy. I'm like, shut, up. <laughs> <laughs> shut up. This is bonding time. <laughs> it's bonding time. Dad loves you. And I'm like sitting there hugging. You're now them, a mattress. <laughs> exactly drooling all over them they're like oh now, if you, you, if you don't mind me asking us. how how many kids do you have grampy four i have four kids do you do so, you hear yeah. that in chat guys he's got four kids he works not full, one gray hair he works full time <laughs> at a hospital not a fucking gray hair somehow and that must be some pretty good hair dye <laughs> yeah, it is. Nah, he's it's the best just for man just for man you know <laughs> You know, I'm over there like, <laughs> get uh, that they'll, they'll never know. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. It's uh, just a beanie. I, got, I just I shaved all my young hair. I'll well, put on top of a beanie. And I, I would definitely wear. say that you've got your shit together a lot more than any other person your age. If you've got an amazingly supportive wife who helps you with your career in streaming. Mm-hmm. actually looks after you in that regard and keeps your best interest in content creation in mind with four yep, kids up. and working in one of the most stressful jobs outside of the military. Yep. Grampy, yeah. you're a fucking masochist. That... <laughs> <laughs> you just... Oh, rake me across the nose. <laughs> wow. 
I think I let I think I try to live that dark life soul. I mean, dark soul life. You know, just get beat up all day. He's like, you are tired. Beat his ass. But uh, it, I think one of my, one of my big things too that keeps me cool and calm is this stuff on the wall. I, I was I take about even if this we were segue, we were just about to segue into that. You see, we hang out too much. You you're right in my fucking brain about this. So I was just gonna say. So one of your hobbies outside of Twitch is definitely art, and your backdrop definitely shows it. So why don't you tell us a little bit? So were you? Did you always draw as a kid growing up, and it just kind of transcended to now, or? All right. So it also I can tell you though. I, I actually wait. I'm sorry. Story. I'm so sorry to cut you off. Why don't you actually tell us huh. real quick, um, and then we'll get into that the answer to that question. Why don't you tell us not only what. But who is behind you on these walls? Okay, I can tell. Uh, so we have you're on the wall too, but you're, you're right there. You're like you're the first person I see coming into the, the stream area. A lot of you, a lot of people take yeah, that for just like all oh, the The point is like a lot of the people that I come into are people who like just this overall supportive people. Now I'm not saying that these people are not. I just put these people over here because just. These are, this is like the new line right here. These are all the new drawings right here. And this is the double big one. He's a really important guy to me. But we got on the wall in the stream, we have Lord Vash. We have Dr. Robot. We got the Bishop. Uh, we have Lo-Fi, which is one of my original uh, follow, one of my original followers. Cactus Cooler, KSI, Cruzine. I'm gonna call him Cruzine. We got Ethan, I can't say that dude's name. It's super long. Uh, we got Wizard Chicken. We have my brother down here, uh, mixed uh, red rum. So Bernie all of these typhoon. people, all of these drawings are characters that you've conceptualized yeah. from people for who support people, you. Yeah. Support. Which is fucking uh, awesome. Just, you know, it's like people go, oh, do you have to sub to get on the wall? I'm like, no, you don't have to sub. Following. Half of these people don't even sub. Uh, Assistant Anarchy, he's a game developer. He's working on it. He's doing it from hand. He's drawing everything by hand. He's doing his very. He's doing his first big Doom style, uh, um, first person shooter, and I'm very proud of him. He's busting his ass, Mimic and hiding. He uh, lives that. That he's come to find out, he lives like 30 minutes from me. Uh, Goon, Queen, that's the wife. Uh, this one right here is uh, Trigger Matt, which I really love that drawing. Uh, Ricky MMA, I one of my fucking love friends. that one. I fucking yeah, love no, that one. <laughs> don't worry. Well, I'm, I'm actually about to. I was actually about to put this into the computer and clean it up, and then, um, and then give it out to some people that want to use it for anything that they want. I, like, I was gonna give this one. Like, if anyone wanted to use it for free. Now, are these are these down. also up on like Instagram or anything anywhere? Or some of them are up on Instagram. Like all the earlier drawings are not on there. Like more of the recent stuff, like Trigger Matt, Ricky MMA uh this one right here because I, I definitely think not, that like a lot a lot of us watching right now myself included i feel like do, do you have a place to that you really like share your art in in the digital space like on social media anywhere not, at first i was just doing this to do it and then i was like you know since i was like i started to join twitter i'm like you know what let me let me uh let me put the pictures out there and yeah, see how people feel like, about it. you're not, like, terribly active on social media either, which is one of the more interesting things about you in general as a, as a content creator is, I mean, of course, like we said earlier, streaming is a hobby. You can do it however you want. But most, like, most people on stream or Twitter are fairly active. You, you kind of just touch and go on it as you please. You pop in, you see what, what's going on, and then you dip out. For me at least i'm gonna be a little selfish here and say fuck you for not having an instagram for me to always look at your art because i tell my brother I do about have instagram them. what yeah i have instagram now i made it like like three four days ago or something like that you motherfucker so i'm following my, you right now <laughs> so some of my drawings are on there i like so what i try to do is get three uh get the first picture i get the first picture of how the base the base then the line then the first ink and then the completed project so like Pip, this one right you, here Hector. he made it three days ago when i haven't talked to this guy since then so go to hell <laughs> exactly <laughs> so like trigger bats up there the first drawing is so ugly i was like i was like i don't know how i'm gonna make this work and then this one's on here you got the the three bases before i get it to there and i think this one too this is the only one i have a video for actually i have a video for me doing uh ace moments oh that's cool and then uh 
Yeah, so, but it's not on anything yet. It's just on my computer because I was like, I just wanted to watch myself do it. And then, uh, but this, the Gray Man one is the one I started, okay, I'm going to start fine tuning some things because that's like these drawings. And just the funny thing, you can see the progression of them. So, like, if ha, I got you, bitch. Like, there we go. Thank you. So, like, <laughs> if, like, you'll see some of them, they're like, they're very, they're like, you know, early on. Cause I, uh, to get into the uh, the segue into the next subject, uh, the question, uh, I started to draw all my life. I was like, I started, when I was a kid. I remember my very first hero. I used to draw. I used I love Wolverine. Uh, so, but I didn't want to. I didn't didn't want to call him Wolverine because he's already created. So I called him Claw Man. <laughs> uh, the, the creativity. Every back one trying blowing to get seen. Out, <laughs> blowing out the ears. Ele- preschool. Claw man, I was like, hell yeah! And so uh, me being black, I didn't know that much about hairstyles, so I was like, flat top. <laughs> so I had a big circle ass face had a flat top, and just big ripping muscles, and he had claws. And it, uh, <laughs> and so Claw man gets drawn. I'm like, you put the cape on him. I'm like, yeah, this is awesome. And then uh, we had one of my teachers was actually a comic book artist for Marvel. Oh, that's cool. He stopped. Yeah, and he's and he really pushed art on us, like draw kids. Like he's trying to, it's like it felt like a Chinese workshop. He's like draw picture. <laughs> so, uh, but we really drawing. <laughs> <I'm> sorry, <laughs> <It's> fucking. <laughs> you good? You good? <laughs> but so we're drawing and drawing, and then I was like, I got into high school and like middle school, it was a blur. I don't remember middle school that much about drawing. I think I was like, girls, girls, you know. Yeah, typical middle school, know, yeah. I, I can draw a heart. That's how I feel about you. <laughs> you know, stuff like that. <laughs> and she's like, no, that's how I feel now. Ball it up and throw it at her. But uh, and then high school came in, and I didn't want to deal with nobody. Like, unless you were drawing with me, I didn't care. Or you were playing Tekken. If you weren't playing Tekken or drawing, I had nothing to do with you. So, in tennis, my bad. Those three things. Tennis, that's, yes, I play tennis. Uh, tennis, drawing, and Tekken. So, if you didn't do any of those things, we weren't homies. I kept my I kept my crew very small, and I didn't want to deal with everybody in their drama. So, that's why I think I just coasted through, I got, went through high school just so easy compared to some people. I didn't well, you deal with you anybody. didn't have anybody to have drama with, so there you go. Exactly. Except for one time, because a kid, I was about to stab him in the throat with a pencil. But oh shit, Grandpa, you, know, you hear that? They're coming for you. They're like, hey, <laughs> you made a joke about Chinese people. Get them. <laughs> that, uh, but uh, so we, um, uh, I know that's like Jesus Christ. I live in the whitest neighborhood. I don't know if it's supposed to be a fire. Or something. <laughs> Probably some old white lady slipped out of the bathtub. They're like, we gotta go save her. Like, oh, let's hit the life alert and shit. But uh, <laughs> so. And so, uh, um, and so I start drawing. I start, and then it, I got rivals in art. It got, it got really. It turned like you know, like how you know those old eighty movies where people were dancing and shit. Break, uh, break into Electric Boogaloo. Right. But it got like that. So I, I had this guy Vizna from Vietnam, man. Oh, he pissed me off. And like, so I'll draw. I do a drawing, and he will copy that drawing, but he'll make it better. And I'm like, look, dude, you need to stop doing that shit. He started to do it to my other my other friend from uh, Cambodia, uh, Min Sam Bui, because and next thing you know he's copying Min, and Min's like, "Hey, stop! Don't draw your own drawings, man." And he goes, he goes, he, he so he has a t-shirt. He bought himself a t-shirt that says "The Copy Machine." So we so we're like, "All right," uh, but after, after I joined the military after high school, and next thing you know, I lost all love for art. It was like. Combat training, combat training, in, uh, learning interrogating uh, skills, because that was my first job in the military was a 35 mic, which is an interrogator. Um, and I was just, I just lost art. It was gone. And then I get out and I'm sitting down at work and I'm like, I'm on a break and I'm like, God, I'm so bored. And I just start dueling around. Nothing was sticking. It was looking horrible. I'm like, yeah, I'm done with this. And then I do this drawing, this one right here. And I'm like, okay, okay, I, I like that. And then I did Mimic and Hiding. And then Mimic and Hiding turned into Backlog. Backlog turned into World Renew Federation. 
and then uh, Joshi up there, and then and then it started to progress and get more and more and more and more. And then since the anarchy, then I did your drawing with the Viking beard and the fangs yeah. and the fucking spike horn and the stempling and things like that. And yeah, then it's we very, did the, uh, it's did. very kind of like like early '90s, like rat rod slash graffiti styling, and I I exactly. fucking I dig it so goddamn hard. I showed my I showed my brother, and he was like, the the reason why I said fuck you for not having an Instagram is because I showed my brother the drawing you did for me, and he was like, does this guy have an Instagram? What does this guy do for a living? What did <laughs> I need to see all of this? <laughs> yeah, so. And so now I'm like, I've been someone, I got challenged recently and they're like, do you draw anything that's just not freaking hardcore? Like one well, dude, I love, I love heavy metal. And a lot of people, I don't play it on my stream. And that's because to me, heavy metal is a safe, it's a safe place. And I don't want to put my safe place on stream. I like, I will sit in the bathroom and listen to any form of heavy metal. It's long. And I, I love fast tempo also. You know, I remember like, I got really into, uh, Thrash shit. One second. <laughs> <laughs> My damn. <laughs> uh, I got really into like heavy metal and whatnot. And so someone's like, Do you draw anything nice and sweet? And I was like, Yeah, I draw something nice and sweet. So now someone's like, I was like, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to make this an emote. So I did my little happy line drawing recently. And I'm like, Yes. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> <laughs> and so he's smiling. He's happy. And I'm like, Yeah. And I, I, I also, uh, preaching the uh the art uh the, the everyone can do art and i mean yeah. i've been i've really been saying this to everybody i'm like and i was like the problem is and i said this too this also was streaming because remember stream is an art um the problem with people who love art or people who love any form of art they get this grand idea this this idea is this big but how many time of how many times we try to draw that idea Right? How many times it comes out looking nothing like we want? You can't even get the first line oh, all the time. To make all the, the first time, line. Yeah. <laughs> so I think what sometimes what, what I did is, all right, I need to find my base, and once I found that base, I'm gonna build off that base. And I think that's what a lot of streamers, artists, and whatnot. So if you're if you're at stick figure level, start with stick figure level. Go put draw a circle, a line down, give it the legs. But next time, put a circle and give it forearms. Then put another circle, make some hands, and make and progress that stick figure until you go, oh, this is stupid. I'm gonna draw a real body now. I'm gonna draw a real face. I'm gonna draw, I'm gonna do my graffiti style, whatnot. And yeah, I think and that's, that's something where that's kind of a good a good thing for a lot of people. Uh, guys, if you're if you're still watching and there's there's nothing else you take away from this, which there's been plenty of good good advice from Grampy here uh today. I I, I think that realistically speaking here, that that applies to pretty much anything you do if you suck at something because exactly. you're like when you start something new you start streaming you start making youtube videos like this podcast uh you start i, I don't know you pick up crocheting you're gonna be the fucking worst if you've worst. never done it before and that's yeah. okay be shit but learn from being exactly shit. Yeah, and that's what that's true. Cause like I had this one gripe. I said this. I was, I was saying this to my friend uh, in real life. He used to be a streamer. He had like he used to be a YouTuber. He had it was like nine hundred. He was at like ninety nine thousand followers before he's like I'm done. And he went. And now he's a full time. Uh, he's a full time doctor. So yeah, I don't see him making any more videos. But I was like, you know what drives me crazy? It's the YouTube videos. And I love. I got nothing against the guys trying to help people become better. Nothing against that. What's what's the difference between equipment, you know, settings, trying to help you troubleshoot your stream. But there's something I truly believe. Every streamer needs to do the things that every like you got the videos. These are the 10 things you shouldn't do. No, I think every streamer has to go through their woes. They have to, they have to bite, they gotta eat that crow so they, they can learn from it. Because if you if you try to avoid it, you know, you're constantly thinking about okay, I can't do this, I can't do this. You gotta do it, look like an idiot and then learn from it if you're not learning from your mistakes because you're trying to be perfect all the time that's to me that seems more stressful be trying to be perfect all the time i'd rather be i'd rather make mistakes or say a really bad joke where people go "Ooh, mm -mm." i'm like all right now (laughs) never go on that joke again to, to touch on that while being as vague as humanly possible because we don't want to incriminate anybody here what would you say is one of your biggest stream fails that you that you genuinely 
like owned up to and, and learned from. <laughs> okay. I have, well, I'm, 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 I'm going to be honest with all of them. So there was a time where, I, you know, there was a time, I mean, I was, I drank. I mean, I, hey, I didn't throw up or anything. I just passed the fuck <laughs> out. <laughs> I mean, I was talking. Guilty. And like, was, I've, I've done it. No, it, was the, it was the funniest stream ever because like, everyone's like, is he dying? I'm like, I'm playing the game still. I'm like, ugh. <laughs> and I did that like seven times. And people sitting there like, this dude. I'm like, all right, guys. Good night. I just laid on the ground. <laughs> Grab me. It's, it's ground. night, night time. <laughs> Exactly, and then uh, the another one. So I was really drunk again, and someone's like, "You won't play a board." I'm like, "Fuck you!" And I got no balls, so my my military side just kicked in. When someone knows balls, you in the military, you're like, "Oh yeah, oh yeah." <laughs> <laughs> Want to play hot potato with there. a grenade? <laughs> I w exactly. I woke up. I woke up. I'm like, okay, I'm pretty sure there's clips. I click on the clips. I'm like. Oh God! All of these <laughs> need to go away. <laughs> That's not I got rid of all of them. I'm like sitting there. I'm like, oh God! If someone fucking reported me, because they could have. And um, in one in one of my one of my worst moments, I think one of my worst moments. It's a, it's a sleeping one. Um, I was really sick. I, I was taking medicine for the sickness, and I started my stream up. And it's kind of like people go, "I don't smoke until I drink," right? I don't I don't drink until I start streaming. So I got medicine in my system and I started to drink. And next thing you know, I fucking boom. And what's the saddest part? My daughter gets out of the crib and she walks up to me on my stream. You can see me on the ground where my camera was at at that time. And my daughter's like, Daddy, wake up. Daddy, wake oh. up. <laughs> and, right? And I, I'm on the ground and she lays next to me and then I throw up. Oh my god! <laughs> I wake up. I wake up. I watch the vibe. I'm like, oh my god! I, I felt so stupid. I felt so bad. And I was like, because I, you know, I was like, Jesus Christ. Okay, I gotta change. And after that, I was like, I'll never do that again. Never. I think, do that's, I think honestly, like, sure, it's a, it's a streamer fail, but I think that like honestly, a quote unquote IRL like real people, mm -hmm. like you go to a club, you go to a bar. I mean, I I before all this whole lockdown stuff happened, there's a bar about 30 minutes for me that I would go and people would dance and drink and have a good old time. But I would see those people every week that would just be as belligerent and ignorant as humanly possible. Take one, one too many shots, argue with the bartenders when they tell you you're cut off, you gotta go home, hit on everybody. What? Like, and like I would see those people and I'm like, wow genuinely people like these people specifically do not learn like i watched a dude literally hit on somebody else's partner get their ass absolutely beat like to the point that security was like i'm not getting involved i'm gonna i'm gonna call the cops and i'm just gonna make sure that he doesn't die in this process exactly just move on they, they were like hey if you're going to beat his ass, put the green screen up. They were like, hey, you're going to beat his ass and that's fine. You're going to beat his ass across the street off our property. And the guy was like, oh, sure, fine. Literally picks the, the dude up, th like practically throws him across the street and proceeds to beat the shit out of him. <laughs> Cops show up, break it all that's up. What? The guy's back the next week doing it again. And I'm like, but to, you know, long story short, Twitch has an interesting way of publicly embarrassing somebody so that mm -hmm. they learn because they have to go back they they yeah. oh, if if not right away somebody will bring it to their attention and link them the video link them the clip it, it makes you honest as a human being that when you say something when you do something like genuinely fucking stupid not like oh he made an off-color comment as a joke and it didn't hit well comedians do that all the time you don't see people mm -hmm. trying to burn them at the stake they get axed out of the That's club true. or the crowd is awkward for a second and they carry on and then they're back the next exactly. week doing it doing a different show but they've learned exactly and genuinely oh, yeah. like i don't understand i don't understand how people that are so introverted that we have to hang out on the internet learn more than people in irl situations that get their ass beat for something they do that's <laughs> true i think I, I, well, I would say one of my one of my biggest mistakes sometimes is 
leaving my stream on, uh, I'll raid somebody, and I forget to hit the stop stream. My brain's already is off. There was this weird moment, and yes, I mean weird. So I stopped the stream, I stopped, I raid, and I just walked away. So all night, I'm walking in and out of my house. My stream's just watching me all night. Didn't pay attention at all. I'm, the, I'm sitting over here topless and going through the house, eating big-ass sandwich out the refrigerator, drinking milk. I'm like, you know, I'm <laughs> sitting over here. And they can see my kitchen. And I'm, like, sitting here. Like, you can see my pretty much the front door in the kitchen from the where I, where I used to stream at. And I'm like, and I get, I sit down. I wake up in the morning. I'm like, all right, this, I'm going to do a morning stream. I sit down. Hey, you're already doing like, it. <laughs> I was like, oh, shit. Oh, shit, shit, shit. It, it, it happened again this time. My daughter, I left my OBS up, and my daughter hit the, uh, she's smacking on my keyboard and hit the command that, uh, I think it was control P on um, the command I had to start stream. And so she hits it. I wake up. I'm like, I'm all topless i'm like it's morning time i'm gonna play magic the gathering i'm gonna just chill before i go to work and then next you know i look over and i just see some people like hey there he is i'm like the fuck my stream on oh shit my stream's on <laughs> <She's>... <laughs> i'm like what the just i can see and my daughter she's walking because i walk right past her i'm like oh she just beat on my keyboard no that sounds bad never mind she was she would turn my stream on i didn't know <laughs> so Next thing you know, I'm like, I'm on stream. I'm like, holy crap. Thank goodness I had all the lights off. You know, people are looking at my cat size nips. I don't, I don't want that. So, <laughs> they are cat size. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. So. Well, yeah. What what does Grampy Back have in store moving forward? What are, what are your plans as a content creator? Or are you just kind of riding the wave and and genuinely treating it as a hobby. Um, I actually have a really big idea. Um, I've been trying to figure out how to make this idea work. I got inspired from a YouTuber I watched recently. Um, I'm big, I love mixed martial arts, boxing, kickboxing, wrestling, jujitsu, you name it. If, it's, if it has someone getting punched in real life, I'm watching it or I'm participating <laughs> in it. Um, he did a series called. He does a YouTube series. Oh, called, careful participating! How, how, you, you remember that one time where you you were forced, oh, or rather yeah. voluntold, yeah. to take a break from streaming for a few days. Yep. We'll yeah, get into that. that though. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Three days. Oh man, that sucked. Um, so he does a series called like you know how good they actually are. So he'll pick a fighter in real life and go how good were they actually, you know, and they'll break down their whole career. And so I wanted to do three types of series kind of like that how like one was like how badass was this character actually because you know in video games there's a lot of badass characters but if you really sit down and break those characters down they're not as badass as we think they are or some are just too badass like doom guy steps in a room everybody's like that's a badass motherfucker right one there. punch man you know <laughs> well, but, <laughs> exactly like damn and so I wanted to do that. And or I also mob for do a Mob Psycho, called, even. <laughs> oh, the Mob. I know exactly. You know, the Mob over here, but he goes, he goes, when he hits that, the question marks, well, y'all screwed. No, wait, who, <laughs> wait, 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 wait. Mob Psycho versus One Punch Man. Who, 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 just, who's who's your money on? Just because he said, because Satama is so, um, he's so, he's, he's always going to be strong, stronger than whoever he fights it's just he's just so such a satirical character like he, he'll always be like i like mob and i think mob will can surprise us but i think that um one punch man is just he, he's just stupid op you know he gets hit with psychic powers he's just like huh and people that will blow you in half huh? and he just all right well i'm gonna do this today and <laughs> i think he, I, like i was reading the, i've been reading the web comics for uh for one punch man and like i'm since I'm, I'm ahead of a lot of people i'm like damn what is this what's gonna kill him and like is i he's gonna i'm pretty sure he's gonna end up fighting god <laughs> Just... <laughs> pretty sure he's gonna end up fighting god i'm pretty damn sure of it and i'm like damn like what do you do now <laughs> it's like what do you do oh i think he's gonna fight blast and he's gonna fight god and that, that's gonna be that's gonna be he's gonna fight probably tag team him, uh, 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 you know. And then just like Thomas, like, be like, I like I just, anybody else? <laughs> I just like Mob because I have a when it comes to anime characters, I really love 
the ones that are down for the homies. You down like I like I love Monkey D. Luffy. He's he's down for the crew. You know, it, you know he may not be the OP or but not. But like Mob, you when you get his homeboys getting beat up when he's like, I'm about to nuke you guys. And I love the characters in like I like a lot of the characters in there. You know, they're because some of them are like very like expressive. And uh, what's it, the smiling man? I love his uh, his his teleport. Oh, that fight scene when they're just trying to fight him, and he's like, yeah. <laughs> "Beat this shit out!" Like, anyone else? No, no just me. No, y'all lying. Y'all love that shit. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I think I, I put it on Saitama. I put it on Saitama because we don't even know his full potential yet. It's it's scary. Like the fact that what he can do. I'm gonna have to ask always... you this question again next year because Mob Psycho season three drops next year. Yeah, we'll see exactly because I'm getting, one, I'm, getting one, I'm getting antsy for that man. I I 100 like like I said I'm, right now I'm a, I'm a snob anime watcher. You know, only want to watch the best because uh, like in the uh, growing up in the 80s it was the same thing. I didn't get to, uh, 80s and 90s. I didn't get to I had to like watch a bunch of crap to find out what's the best. So what everybody now goes these were the best in the 80s and 90s. I'm like I had to dig through that stuff. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, you know how horrible that is to dig through all that anime? You're like, damn, man. So the, that when the 2000s hit, I think early 2000s anime was kind of like on this low-key downward spiral. And now they've been really amping it up. And oh, I've yeah. been really appreciating. They they stopped being little, you know, it was like nothing but drama. It was like, what the fuck is going on? You know, it's nothing but, you know, waifu taku and all this stuff. And I'm like, where is the blood and guts? <laughs> it's like, where is it at? Bring Berserk back. <laughs> exactly. Oh, for real. For real. I mean, they kind of did with Castlevania. Yeah, Cast oh, Castlevania yeah. really hit it home. Um, anyways, I, Grampy, I, unfortunately, we are coming up on time. Okay. But I definitely no think problem. we've uh, we've addressed... Oh, you know what? I've, I've got one more really important question for you here, Grampy. In your in your career in streaming and content creating, what would you say is your own personal biggest drive or inspiration to keep doing it? And who is your biggest supporter in that? All right. Um I I have this thing about I want to be I want to stay real to myself. And I'm not saying being staying staying who I am. I'm saying be uh be understanding that there's moments of my stream career that's gonna look bad it's gonna not be good and i'm not gonna lie to myself so i always keep myself on the i give myself one of the easiest tasks and it's just to entertain and make people happy i don't look at i don't look at streaming as a grind anymore i don't i don't all i want to do is just entertain and i want to make people laugh I want people to be shocked and all. I want people to go, oh, I didn't think of that. I want people to just in kick back and enjoy. I don't think about partnership anymore. I don't think about any of those things. I don't think about subs. I don't think about follows. All I want to do is if you come in the stream, I want to entertain you. Um, and the one of the biggest drive is actually uh, one of my biggest um, supporters put it in perspective. She's like uh, the wife. She said, don't sell yourself cheap. Don't sell yourself cheap. And focus on what you want to do. This is your stream at the end of the day. Don't don't grind yourself out to death to where you that if you did make it to the mountaintop, you'll be too tired to really focus on doing your next stream. You just be like, I made it. And you're like, now you're burnt out because you you spent all that energy trying to get there. So when you're you like get that there, drunk stream, you, you're blacked have, out on the floor. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> you won't have any more no more motivation because you put everything into getting there and once you got there you're gonna it's like you know like most fighters they get to the mountaintop but they can't hold the belt forever so she goes just get a focus make that your main focus own it go from there so I'll, now when i stream all i do is uh i focus on making people laugh smile um and doing my best to you know give the love back you know like i was supposed to be doing a giveaway and she keeps reminding me yes i possibly be doing a giveaway i'm like i know but i'm just too damn lazy and uh but i will say truly some of my biggest supporters it comes down to like you dj assistant anarchy lo-fi uh even lord vash i mean I, he, he's not there every day but he definitely comes in he shows that love and respect and uh gray man I, I like there's so many people out there that show support 
And sometimes I feel that I don't deserve it, but I, at the same time, I tell myself that I'm glad that I have it. You yeah, know? I mean that so, that wall behind you, is, uh, you know, speaks you know speaks volumes that you've got this many people that are that inspirational and that driving for you and that supportive of you, um, and definitely big, big, big shout outs to uh, Grampy's wife for sure because thank you. I genuinely appreciate that she's pushed you to keep on keep, to keep yeah. your, keep on your honest and keep your shit together and keep doing this otherwise we'd have never met you and who knows yeah. if we had never met you i might have not even ever had an opportunity to have this interview with you that's true and I'm, but i'm happy i got to meet you guys i just it's like there's moments in your life where i go i always tell myself these things don't just happen for a reason you think about how many streamers are out there that i could have came across but found you and i've been staying yeah. around but found me <laughs> found dj not. found the whole tekken tuesday crew exactly. all those fucking dgens um, exactly just been sitting around like a like a stump on the log like, <laughs> <laughs> you you guys heard it r right from him at the be at almost the very start of the podcast though we might be seeing grampy make a triumph and come back to tekken tuesday but yep. even if we don't i definitely plan to do some more collaborative content with this gentleman in the future we've talked about it a bunch of times um i think we're we're both at a point right now where we've we've kind of gone through a lot of our own shit that we needed to and you guys know me. I love doing collab work. I love working with other content creators. That's the whole reason behind this podcast is for me to introduce those people to you that I enjoy, that I want to do collaborative content with because I really jive with them. And you guys might not be around by the end of my streams for us to raid. So this is me telling YouTube and Twitch, hey, if I'm not live, fuck it. Even if I am live, go check him out. He's over here, not over here. Fucking cameras being flipped and shit. Technology. We do. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I know. I, I, I've been. It's been confusing me. I'm like, what the hell's wrong? Like, when I stream, the camera's yeah. the other direction. So I was, I was like, what the hell? Uh, but but yeah. back, I'm gonna open up the floor to you. Why don't you take this opportunity to plug all of your shit? Let us know where we can find you, what uh, we can find you doing, and when we can find you. All right, everybody. Uh, as you can know, it's Grampy Back. Um, I'm on YouTube at uh, just type in Grampy Back. It has my icon if you if you see it in my uh, on my Twitch. Um, we do videos that span all kinds of nonsense. I haven't uploaded in a while because I have like four or five projects that are technically done. I'm just too lazy to upload them. Poor, uh, bad on me. You can find me on Twitter uh, at uh, at Grampy Back and on Instagram at uh, Instagram Grampy Back. And um, uh, for people, just for a heads up, um, like I said, I'm doing, I want to do some cool series. I have cool series ideas that want to be informative type of gaming things. And I would love to have people from the community, from around the community to be part of it. You know, it's just not, this ain't just for me. This is something, that's why I always uh, want to get Pip involved in this, um, you know, talking about characters and so on and so forth. And development are one of my favorite series the most known uh, the most known unknown games uh so we are find games that people know but they don't know and break it down for everybody and i would love to have not just my rambling ass voice having other people go you know what that's a really cool idea that's so i think that'll be something that i'll hope that if you want to be involved in that if you got a game suggestion and whatnot you can dm me in uh on at twitter got just we the series can, uh, for you <laughs> you you already know what I'm down. talking about. You guys in chat already mm -hmm. know what I'm talking about. But y'all on YouTube, y'all don't really know me yet, so you, you probably don't know. But yeah, you'll find out soon <laughs> enough. I'll work with Grampy on yeah, that one. So, yeah, so that's that's to be something nice where we could do a roundtable and break it down and put the video clips of the gameplay and so on and so forth. And let's not but forget yeah, your streaming schedule. Me. Oh yeah, and my streaming schedule. All right, at this point in time, it is nine to 1 a.m. Pacific Standard, uh, 9 p.m. to 1 a.m. Pacific Standard Time, Monday, Tuesday. And on Friday is the big stream. That's where I do 9 o'clock to I have no more energy left and I'm going to bed. So that's all Pacific Standard Time. Um, I'm not going to be streaming on the weekends anymore because I'm leaving those open for, one, helping people with content, and two, help me finish up some content. The same with Wednesday and Thursday. Those are going to be, I want to use those days for clean, getting as much content down. And also just to let you guys know, Pip doesn't know this, but he's in my story that I've been working on. 
Yes, you are a high titan. That's the rank of your uh, of your uh, battalion. Well, yes. uh, g given my average height, I I, 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 don't, I don't mind being called a titan. I can live with that. <laughs> yes, you are you are uh, quite powerful. Yes, and uh, DJ is your <laughs> is your second in command. But y'all have this headbutting idea. Y'all always it. headbutt each other. And everybody's like, but he, you're, you, he, but you outrank him, and why is he talking to you like that? Because you guys been to war and back, and so y'all have this connection. All right, that's so how, stay tuned for announcements on that. Yeah, that's, I'm working on it. It's, it's taking its time, but we'll get there. But yeah, uh, I can't wait to do. I can't wait to have you guys come through, and I can't wait to. Y'all better show your boy, Pip Darty Love. I I've been watching his videos. I've uh, been watching his uh his interviews on Twitch and also on YouTube. And also, there's a fun little trick. It's a fun little trick. If you want to support people, but you don't have free time, watch the YouTube videos at two times speed. Okay, you'll get you can hear all the things, you can hear everything, but you can get through the video faster, and they get the viewership for the whole video, not one Pretty minute, right. not two minutes, not one minute, not two minute. You watch the whole. You get to watch the whole video. So if you made an hour long video, you watch the whole hour in thirty minutes, and he gets the viewership for an hour. There you go. <laughs> so, or at least 1.5 little... times the speed. Yeah, or 1.5. <laughs> that's the, that's, yeah, because it's going to sound like, burp. <laughs> so, but, we'll... <laughs> but it's really good to do that. Like, I, I do that for a lot of people, uh, especially when I'm at work. I always try to support as many people as possible. But I can't wait. Support him. He's really awesome. I, and I love this guy. I really do. That's why, he, that's why he gets my money from subs every time. When it comes up, he's getting it. <laughs> all right guys well i i greatly appreciate grampy back for joining us today i greatly appreciate you guys that have watched this live twitch broadcast and for those of you watching on youtube be sure to like and comment and uh that, that subscribe button unlike twitch the subscribe button on youtube is free just so you guys know so be sure to click that so you can let uh let grampy back and i know um that you're interested in more content like this and um that's pretty much all we have here for the day um be sure to check out my merch our custom disc plates and our stream element store i will have the links to all of that as well as grampy back social medias all down below in the description over on youtube and we just posted it over in twitch chat and of course as always my vikings this has been an episode of let's chat may the gods be with you all skull